Hello bookish friends on the internet. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. Today is a video that is unplanned for today. It is an Owl Crate unboxing. Yay! Uh, this is the February box, which I forgot what the theme was, but my friend Sydney texted me asking if I open up my box today and I haven't yet because I wanted to film this and have my friend Taylor FaceTime me but she's busy at the moment. So I'm just gonna unbox this video and you get my reaction first. And this video will definitely go up on my channel unlike my January Owl Crate because my January Owl Crate unboxing or my December one, I don't remember. <laughs> one of the Owl Crate boxes that I did recently wasn't up on my channel because I was like, oh, I'm too tired. I don't feel good, which I wasn't really good at the time. But now I'm feeling a lot better, so let's unbox this. I'm really excited for this. I think I know what the book is already, just based off the theme. So we, of course, have my handy dandy keys here. And we're gonna unbox. I was gonna also film a lot of other videos today, so you might see the, the same shirt in some videos coming up. There we go. Hopefully. <laughs> Not me struggling on camera. <laughs> there we go. And then as you open it up, it has the guide to unboxing. It says, snap, share, and snuggle up. Get cozy and enjoy your new book. So Owl Crate is a book subscription box that comes each and every month around the 15th through the 20th, whatever week that is in the month. And you get a bunch of goodies in here and then you get the one book sometimes two books depending on how they are feeling um so yeah i already see the spoiler card right here among the monsters is this theme for february um which sounds creepy this is the card right here i'll be referring to the back of this throughout the videos so next we have is all these fuzzy things that my dogs love so i'll take that out and give it to my dogs <laughs> First up is a new limited edition pen, enamel pen. It says literary luggage on here. Um, design number two out of 12. They do these every month, obviously. So let's see, last month was a uh, London, Red London from, out, uh, from A Darker Shade of Magic. Ooh, Explore Cobb's Water. Hmm. Don't know. Maybe Raven Boys or uh, what's the spinoff series? Oh my gosh. Not the Scorpio races. Oh well. This is so bad. <laughs> um, Owl Crate is inspired. Oh, da, da, da. where is the monthly pin? Howl's Moving Castle is what to inspire the art pen. So never read that book, so I would have never guessed that. But that's what this pen looks like. Um, next I see our clips, bracelets. Uh, officially licensed Lakes Edge cable keep keepers. Uh, keep your cables and charging cords organized with traveling. Ooh, I am traveling this spring. So that's really cool. They each have quotes on them. So let's take this one off real quick. Maybe. Um, this one says, there's a monsters in the shadow and now it knows my name. And it has that cute design on it. And of course, this is from Lake's Edge, which was one of the books that they did last year, and I haven't read it yet, but I definitely want to. And then this one just has some design on it, like that. And then this one says, his magic is my magic. So we love that. And then last but not least, I think this one is also just uh, one with designs on it. So yeah. That's really cool. I'll definitely be using that because I need a lot of um, cords for like my camera, my um, phone chargers and all that. So 
Next we have is this white envelope box thingy. Um, so I don't know what this could be from. So let me actually open it up first. Ooh, a keychain. We can always use a keychain. So it says, we are the darkest arts made of lights. And this is inspired by this Savage song from Victoria Schwab, who I really love as an author. So that's really cool. And then next I see, ooh, I see this. Let's get this one out. Ooh, Frankenstein by uh, Mary Shelley. This is a paperback edition. And this one says, there is something at work in my soul, which I do not understand. Ooh. See, I said sometimes there will be two books, but also this cover, creepy. Um, I don't think I've actually ever read Frankenstein as a whole book. I know I read bit and pieces of it here and there in high school. Um, so let's see who, which edition. We're kicking off our new Owl Crate classic collection with our favorite glorious gothic tale, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, artist of Reina Illustration created this stunning cover that will look lovely on any bookshelf. More classic editions are to come throughout the year and they are featured artwork from Reina. So that is really, really cool. I'll definitely read Frankenstein closer to the fall season though, just cause it's like Halloween season almost. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll definitely read this and add it to my TBR. Like if I need any more books to my TBR. Um, next I see is, so this is an art print. I'm not sure where this art print is inspired by. Um, North Design conjoined, conjoined a bit of wintry magic when creating this set. Oh, there's, um, I just play with myself for one of the items. Um, da -da -da -da. I don't know where this print is from. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I don't know where the print is from, That this print is gorgeous. Next I see are some bookends, which holy moly, that this says that love of maidens for monsters that does not fade with time, or maddens, I think. <laughs> it's hard to read it, but these are some lovely bookends. I actually just got a bunch of bookends recently from my mom for Christmas, so I'll definitely add those to the collection. Um, and then we also have another art print. It says, some promises can never be broken. Start reading an Owl Crate exclusive digital sampler of Forest Fall, the, hunting, the haunting sequel to Lake's Edge by Lindell Clipstone, now on NetGalley, to access the digital sampler scan this code so this is creepy artwork and then the codes on the back oh yes this is the book i wanted um so this book is only a monster by vanessa lynn this was actually one of my most anticipated reads of the whole year and i'm so happy that owl crate did this Ooh, and there's black edges on it we love that um so this is what it looks like Fast as fine. These are the edges. And then I'm sure if you take it off. Ooh, that is stunning. And then there's artwork on the back, as always. There's this stunning artwork right here. That is really cool. And then it has a letter from the owl or letter from the author, not from Owl Crate. A letter from the author, which I'm really excited to read that. I usually read it before reading the book. And then there is Vanessa's signature right there, which is awesome. And yeah, this just sounds super good. It's like a creepy haunted house story. Um, but yeah, I will definitely read you guys the letter. It says, Dear Owl Crate Reader, Only a monster is about a monster girl whose summer is ruined when the cute guy at work turns out to be a monster slayer. This book was written with so much love and heart. When I was growing up, I always wished that I could read about char read about characters who look like me having amazing adventures in magical worlds. And then one day I realized that I could write that book. And now it is such a dream come true to share 
it with you in this beautiful Owl Crate edition. I hope you have as much fun reading it as I had writing it. With love and best wishes, Vanessa. Oh, so sweet. Um, but yeah, I definitely hear nothing but amazing things about this book. Even before it came out, a lot of people had arcs of this book, so I'm really excited to have a beautiful Owl Crate edition. Um, and there's a lot of high praises from Stephanie Garber to Glory from Chloe Gong, Naomi Novak, and C.S. Picot. So we love those praises. And definitely we'll be reading this in March because I haven't filmed my TBR yet for that one. But yeah, definitely really excited for this book. And I can take it off my wish list. That's one good thing I can do. And then a few more things. Maybe. And then I don't know if this is for anything or if it's just protecting paper. Um, but we always have the monthly pamphlet of the Among the Monsters. Um, so there's an author interview. And then this is the original cover. And that's the Owl Crate one, obviously, since I just showed you that. And then if you liked Only a Monsters, you should try this Savage Song, Lake's Edge, and The Last Magician. And then it, there's an interview with Reyna illustration and just some recommendations. Um, so we love that. And then let's see, what's the last little... There's photo prompts for February as always. And then it's time for another Owl Babble. It'll be sometimes in March or April. And then there's other new releases they're looking forward to in February, which I read one of these already. And really loved um, and then this is just the playlist that you can listen to music while reading the book if you like that and then the theme for March box is artistic obsession flip for a sneak peek every March box will include an item from fiction bath company Ooh, so probably like a candle or um, bath soap whatever um, but yeah, that was everything in the Owl Crate box for the month of February. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. I gotta go clean up the mess I made in my room now with all these little fuzzies. And if you guys got this box, let me know what you thought of it down below. Was this your favorite box so far? I would say this one was a really good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night. And if you haven't yet, I hope your day gets better. And I'll chat with you guys down in the comments below. And have a great day don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn your notification on so you don't miss any new videos coming from me soon and give me a big thumbs up as it always helps me out all right you guys love you bye